Jerry! Did you water the bushes, boy? and my dad still has to be watering the grass manually. What'd you say? <laughs> Yep, that's me. Welcome, family. You know me, I'm the Soil King here at Seed to Soul Farms. This is what I love, this is my passion. We got medicine for the people. If you look around here, as far as the eye can see, you can see nothing but medicine for the patients. We have 37,000 patients we're growing for right here at Seed to Soul Farms. There's a lot of work to be done out here, and trying to get my son out here with his watering can just ain't cutting it. So I got a great friend here, his name's Chris from Dripworks, and uh, we're gonna show you people how you can irrigate massive gardens like that. Hey Patrick, appreciate you having me down here and having you help with your, uh, your garden down here, and uh, we're happy to be a part of it and uh, continue our friendship and partnership. Okay, Chris, let's start at the source where this whole thing begins, the water tank. Let's go do it. Let's do it. Up early in the morning when I'm watering and feeding. One plant, one season. We put in so much work and yet no one's believing. And this is where it all starts, the source, the water. So we got our pump right here. The most important thing to do when you're designing any irrigation system from a backyard vegetable garden to a large setup like what we got going here is the, um, the amount of flow that you're gonna have. You know, find out what your output's gonna be before you size your pump. So this is a half horse Golds Plus pump. It's a great pump. And um, it's given us actually at the start, we're gonna see in a minute, is it's given us 60 PSI at the start of the system, so which is a good amount of pressure to run your large system such as this. And with this, we have a licensed electrical contractor, and we've it's all been installed. We have a panel up here. I mean, it's important to uh, do it with uh, county codes, have everything up to par and legit and ready to go. Now we checked out the source and the water. Let's go check out the brain. Let's go do it. All right. So Patrick, why do you got all these wood chips out here like this? I mean, that's a great question. We want it to be like a park-like setting, but even more importantly, we're talking about medicine to the people. So uh, dust control is a big issue when you're talking medicine because we get a lot of wind through here and the dust comes up, flies up, will stick to the flowers at the end of the season. And then the patient has to deal with that on the flower itself. So to keep it down, you know, and control the dust, and, you know, we're talking about medicine right here. And it just looks like a park-like setting. We're gonna take this as a model for the cannabis farmers across California. So Chris, let's walk over here. And we got, this is a two inch PVC pipe as you got from uh, our, our source of the water. And Chris, why don't you go in and tell us a little bit about the pieces and, and the valve and the valve assembly and the filter. So we got going here, this is a timer. It's a Galkine high flow timer, it's a one inch. It's gonna last for years. And this happens to be our Bluetooth timer. So you download the app on your cell phone and you can control it. So what was nice about this timer is we have, we could set it up, we downloaded the app. I can go ahead and I can pull the app up, I can hit the start button, it'll automatically go on for five minutes. That's how we have it set up on this. So we got 90 plants, five minutes. How much water are we actually saving by using this irrigation system over hand watering? 
You're saving a ton of water. Ton, yeah, a lot of water. A lot of water. And especially in the drought California's been in over the last four or five years, water is a huge issue. We would definitely want to conserve it. And this is a definitely a good way to give a nice consistent watering to any type of plant, your backyard gardener, to your flowers, to your uh, medical cannabis. We've got an Amiod uh, filter. Like I said, we got a 60 PSI here. So here is we've got the one inch Toro line that goes out as our header. And then that's feeding three quarter inch line. Yep. That, um, is going into our smart pots. <laughs> and one other thing I want to bring up is in a, in a farm like this, I have a full-time water person out here, hand watering. It took a full-time employee all week long to come out here from start to finish to get two waterings in one week, right? And now all of a sudden, every day, five minutes, each plant's got the exact same pressure from the start of the line to the end of the line. They're all getting 12 gallons per minute. All right, Chris. So now that we've gone to the source, the water, we've talked about the manifold. Let's go to the business end, so where it, it all happens, yeah. the work. Up early in the morning when I'm watering and beyond the growers. Plants are getting watered. Love it. No need for PJ's water can in this one at all. Yeah, so what we did is we created an elbow, some AirTech fittings, and the Jane tubing. Got the Octa bubble here. And nice thing is, got um, flow control plugs inside there. So you can change it from two gallons an hour, six gallons an hour. This happens to be the 10, and it'll go up to 20 gallons an hour. These are the blue heads. And these put out um, 10 and a half gallons an hour. And the nice thing about the octa bubbler, you get if you wanted to add another line, so you weren't getting consistent um, enough water, you can always add another sprayer by just pulling off the plug and adding another line, another sprayer to it. And these are 400 gallon smart pots. We have four um, of your sprinkler lines going off it, but on our thousand gallon smart pots, we got them dialed in to eight, so we can really get the flow and get the water to the root zone. Heinz big root soil in here. It takes uh, seven to 10 days. If you have the right water in the right medium, which is big roots in your smart pot bags, within seven to 10 days from the time you transplant in the middle of a 400 gallon smart pot, your roots will be sun pruning right out the side of here. Seven or 10 days, as long as it has the right water. We got it all set up. Our plants are loving it. They're green and healthy, organic. There's no pesticides. We don't have none of that junk on it. We're all about the health to the patients. So uh, thanks for coming in. Family. Get that big roots.